Hi, Caroline. My body thinks it's 3.30 in the morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Oh my word. So I didn't really make any British friends. I made German friends and Egyptian friends, but not so much the British friends. I mean, I met British people who I was friendly with, but no one I was close enough to ask to join me in public humiliation. I did, however, buy this postcard with a recipe on it written in Geordie. So let's see how this goes. Yeast with half a teaspoon sugar. Sugar? And a pinch of white pepper all together, like the folks of Shields? Add about three two. I keep going into Indian. I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna try anymore. Google Cheryl Cole, that's what a Geordie accent sounds like. So I was actually really glad that your video yesterday talked about America being really pretty and stuff. Because one of the things that this trip really taught me was actually how much I love this country. Maybe, maybe that's not what I was supposed to take away from this. I mean, these were like five of the best weeks of my life and it was an amazing experience. And England is beautiful and historic and the people I met were wonderful. But I am just so happy to be home. I missed Target and I missed fortune cookies and crab rangoon and all of the American Chinese food. I missed grocery stores that stayed open past 7 p.m. where I could get anything I wanted with a brand that I recognized. And so while I'm very, very glad that I had this experience in England and it was very enlightening, it was also really nice to see Oreos on the shelves in the grocery store again. I have seriously spent the majority of the day just eating food that I couldn't have in England. Except for dinner, I, ho I bought a whole bunch of these like chocolate things called flakes from England, and then I stuck them all in ice cream and my family and I all had 99s, which were delicious. You can Google those too. Although, can it, can it be a 99 if you make it yourself? I don't know. Somebody enlighten me. Anywho, my point is that this whole trip has just really shown me that I need to take more advantage of the country that we live in. Because there's so much that I haven't seen, you know? Or so much that I just really take for granted. I want to visit the Grand Canyon and Alaska and New England and upstate New York and the mountain ranges and Montana. Montana just looks pretty. First, I'm going to plant a money tree, though, so that I can afford all of these trips. Hey, so you know how there was writing in London the day that I got there? Yeah, I didn't know about that until I was getting on the plane. Caroline, sorry I'm low energy. Blame it on the jet lag. I'll see you tomorrow!